Results posted, race number four. Winner is number four, Nexus, a four-year-old bay gelding by Dynasty out of Mystery Dame. Owned by Mrs. Nancy Cossack, in the estate late Jack Mitchell. Trained by Justin Snaith, ridden by Richard Faree, and bred by the Rathmore stud, the nominee Mike McCarty. Second was number 10, Black Nap. Third, number 11, Estimal. Fourth, number 6, Love Happens. 4, 10, 11, 6. 1 minute 34.44 seconds, the winning time. Well, Nexus was certainly a very fine winner of the Pinnacle Stakes today. He won in fine style since gelding. And, of course, giving Nancy Hosek a very nice birthday present today. Very well done, John. A lovely horse. I've always liked him from the start. Yes, you know, he, he, he's just a beautiful um, dynasty. And he's one of the horses that Justin earmarked for the Cape season, but he went horribly wrong. And it's just lovely to see him back. And I think this was a very, very good win. This was a, a tough field. I think the three-year-old back in seconds a decent sort. And, um, I mean, he really, he won with authority. So he's booked his ticket to Durban. And his first start there will be, he's, he's KwaZulu Natal bred. So he'll run in the KwaZulu Natal Mile, which is um, obviously specific to uh, Durban bred horses. So he's got to be a huge runner there. And depending on how he goes there, he has been nominated for the Durban July. And he'll love the trip and he'll love Gravel. So he, he's a bit of a dark horse. So um, on this, I must just say, Special well done to Nancy. It's her birthday today. So um, what a way to celebrate her birthday with a win like this. So um, a special congratulations to her and, and Holga who are sitting at home watching. Yeah, I'm sure they're thrilled to bet it's a nice birthday present for her. But as I said, he's a horse I've always followed and really liked. And I thought he looked an absolute pitcher today after his gelding. And, you know, in his, his early days, he had, a, he had a good record. It was only his last two runs that he sort of went off a bit. Yeah, you know, and, and uh, I remember when we saw him at the sale, he was kind of, you know, hidden at one of the smaller studs. And I, I remember fi like finding this horse, and, and, and then I went to Jack, and I just said, Jack, you've got to come see this horse. It is, I found something. And when Jack saw it, he said, no, I'm going home with this. And uh, just amazing that uh, he's finally producing the goods. And I think there's a long way to go with this horse. I think um, post-gelding is a different horse, and uh, I, I don't think we've seen the best of him. 
It certainly is a very good looking dynasty and as you said, one with authority today. So congratulations to you and all the team and of course Nancy, happy birthday sitting at home watching hopefully. We've got a nice uh, little cuda bag for you to take please for your groom today, the winning groom. Um, so it's nice for them to all be getting a little something out of today as well. So please take the prize for the groom and very, very well done to you, Jonathan, and all the team at Snaith Racing. Coming through next is going to be just Richard Just a special mention to Kuda once again. You know, thanks so much for coming through on the day. Um, we really appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely fantastic to have them on board and a lovely little gesture for the groom. Richard Faree is going to come through now and chat to me. Um, great win. You must have got a really good feel there. That was very, a very, very good win indeed. Yeah, uh, it's been always been a lovely horse. And, uh, I always thought he, all he needed is a little bit of gelding and uh, you know, it's done the trick and he likes to run fresh this horse and um, you know at the end there I was, I was gasping for air, uh, he needed it but uh, he's a lovely horse, always been a nice horse, good looker and um, you know, before, before the race I spoke to Rob because Robert's actually won on him a couple of times and I, I said to him what is he like, he said ah, he's a bit sluggish out the pens and you know you got to work on him the first furlong um, but since gelding he pinged the gates and he was in control ever since and I could dictate where I wanted to be, uh, how much ground I wanted to make up and you know he was always a ready horse and he came through the 300 just sliding through nicely and uh, I picked him up and he was more so he won a good race. Yeah I must say I was watching you, you had him beautifully positioned and he, he always looked so like he was going so easy and that he was the one that was going to pick up more than any, any other the others. Very much so yeah, very picturesque finish, uh, did everything right, uh, just well into the whole family. Um, it's been a long time coming. He's a nice horse and he'll find a future and some bigger success else as well. Yeah, bright future for him. And uh, you've notched up a few winners since we've been back racing and uh, you've got nice rides for the rest of the day. Yeah, I do have some nice ones. Uh, Eric the Red, always fancies him. And then uh, I like Silverhost. Um, you know, obviously it's uh, the Guineas. There's a lot of unexposed horses there. Uh, they have to earmark uh, Pit Stain's horse. Uh, he's does, he has won two good races. Um, but I think he's up for a challenge today, so let's see if we can beat him. Well, best of luck for the rest of the afternoon. We hope to see you in the winner's box again. Thank well you done, very Richard. Much. And then also uh, to Kuda for the sponsor. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well said, Richard. So looking forward to the rest of the afternoon, which has got some nice rides, but Nexus was certainly a very, very impressive winner of today's Pinnacle Stakes. This is all clear. Gates are back, off and racing. Love happens, missed it when the starter said go, lost about two lengths. Nexus responded well, but he's now being taken back. Estimal is rushing past horses to go up and look for the lead. Also pushing forward, Water Spirit is very speedy in the early stages, and it is Water Spirit who now wins that battle for the lead. Water Spirit has tw went past the 1200, has it by three parts of a length. Estimal back at the fence is racing in second. Shamrock wind a neck away outside of that and now gone to join that one. They followed by Kenny Tricks who settles about three lengths off the leader. Nexus off an alert start is now racing five lengths off them. Cedar Man races just in behind that and Black Nap is back at the fence. Meraki is a neck back racing outside of that one followed then by More Magic who would be ten lengths off this leader. Love happens off that sluggish start, is racing well back early on. Majestic Mozart is racing well back too. He's racing back one from last as they sprint into the stretch now and head for home. They're at the top of the lane now with 5.50 left to the line and Water Spirit brought the field for home, has the lead in the centre of the track to Shamrock Wind, is quick to challenge up on the outside. Estimal is right there along the inside and Nexus makes progress. Right down the inside, Black Nap is also starting to run on. Behind them, Cedar Man and Meraki also starting to improve. There's plenty with chances, but Nexus has slipped through to pick it up now as they come to the final 250. Black Nap is chasing hard behind that one, but Nexus is full of running and powering away in the closing stages. Black Nap doing all he can. Estimal is deeper out in the track, but no catching Nexus. He's too good here. Nexus an easy winner. Black Nap gets up for second. Estimal behind that third. They were followed by Love Happens behind that majestic Mozart. Cedar Man was in behind that, then came Meraki. They were followed by more magic behind that, Kenny Tricks.
four Nexus, too good, race four, comes away to win it and to win it quite comfortably in the end. Estimal was always there and thereabouts in the centre of the course. Black Nap ran on well down the inside and Love Happens after a slow start did well to get into the money. But four Nexus is too good and wins it comfortably. Ten Black Nap second, eleven Estimal third, six Love Happens back in fourth. Majestic Mozart came from the back of the field, a nice comeback run there. They were followed by Meraki. Behind that one, a Cedar Man. More